Regarding House's disability, at what point did that become part of the character in the creation of the show? And is it's, you know, the, is that going to continue to be kind of a recurring theme in terms of its changing and the way that works? Yeah, that, that was uh, that was. It was from the beginning. Yeah, that was from the, that was surprisingly early on. Though. Actually, he was in a wheelchair yeah. initially uh, when we sold it. Initially, he was in a wheelchair, and then we. Um, Fox, to their credit. Yeah. They just stopped that. <laughs> <laughs> I will never, I will maybe never say that while, again. I will never yeah. thank a network for a note that <laughs> fundamentally made us change a character, but that was, they were right. They were right. And then for a very brief moment after the wheelchair, it was a scar. <laughs> um, <laughs> and the cane. Um, so. And y yes, he will continue to, to deal with the pain and deal with trying to get through that and past that and looking perhaps for ways to get past that. But part of it is he doesn't want to see patients. Um, I think the handicap is, is part of the reason why he doesn't want to be seen by patients. Mm -hmm. Because what kind of confidence can you have in a doctor who's handicapped? So part of it is that he's hiding. Um, he not, not only want, doesn't want to see them, but doesn't want to be seen by them. It, it works surprisingly well on many levels, which I didn't anticipate at the beginning. Well, as a prop, I mean, I think he's like a superhero, the way you use your cane and you open doors and you lock doors and you. <laughs> but also, I mean, if he was just a healthy, good-looking guy, we would not be able to do nearly the things we do with that character. Because <laughs> <laughs> we'd hate him. Okay. <laughs> that healthy, comma, good-looking guy. <laughs>